Hey guys, it's the Goronator here, and welcome to Gore's Weekly Recap for the week of January 25th, 2016. Hello everybody, once again, of course it is the start of a brand new week. Fuck Mondays, for any of you guys that had a particularly shitty Monday, feel free to put that down in the comments below. A lot of you guys love doing that, so... Go for it. I, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, my Monday wasn't too bad, to be perfectly honest. Um, it was actually kind of eventful, or at least something particularly interesting happened. So just to give a brief kind of teaser for it, I will tell the story in full on the BritBox podcast. But uh, uh, until then, I kind of want to, you know, save it, obviously, for the show, because that's what we mainly do. And uh, obviously, want to share it with Max and with you guys on the BritBox podcast. So just to give you guys a little teaser that uh, for, for those that do listen to the podcast, Basically, whilst doing some kind of college project out and about in town, me and my friends, me, Josh, Josh, and Tom, got kicked out of the mall of, of our local shopping centre. We actually got thrown out of it whilst just trying to do our college work. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. So I can't wait to tell that story. Um, so yeah, it's pretty eventful Monday. Went pretty quickly. As usual, wasn't too shitty. Um, so, you know, it's it's not a massive hashtag fuck Mondays for me, but it may be for you guys. Once again, feel free to leave that down in the comments. But anyway, guys, let's talk about some stuff as we usually to do recap on the previous week and let you guys know what's happening this week or you know at some point soon in the near future so the first one I, I, I want to talk about, the first thing I want to discuss is the Sunday morning stream. Now, for those that missed last week's Goals with Recap, I let you guys know that I was planning to change change up the streaming schedule a little bit. So usually it was Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. GMT. That was the old schedule. Now it's Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. GMT, and then Sundays at 8 a.m., or at least that was the plan. Um, I... I woke up at 8, uh, I let him bed till about half 8, um, I was mainly waiting for other people in my house to wake up, because obviously, you know, I don't want to be shouting on a live stream and then wake all them up on the weekend, um, you know, when they're trying to sleep and stuff, so I uh, started the stream actually at 9am, which I think would be like the kind of new set time that I start things, that seems like a pretty good time, gives me plenty of time to wake up and get ready for it, uh, and also obviously leaves me plenty of time still to stream for a decent length of time, uh, actually quite a lot of you guys were able to come, which is fantastic, Fantastic. Um, shout out to Mental Case, Penguin Lover, um, who else come? Um, Arise came, uh, I'm probably forgetting some people, I'm sorry, but, but thank you to all you that came along. We had about, um, five consecutive viewers, uh, on average, so that, that was pretty good, um, for, for me streaming. So yeah, that, that seemed like a pretty good time to stream, so it looks like it shall continue. I'll probably do that continuously from now on so if those of you that can't make you know like the regular kind of schedule at 7 p.m gmt um hope you guys can make the early morning sunday streams or at least it's early early morning for me it's probably late at night for any of you guys that are outside of the uk uh, but yeah that actually went really well so that was great uh, another kind of stream news um you guys may notice that i uploaded some stream highlights recently from one of my black ops 3 live streams which i did with jpn um i had a lot of fun with that i, I have a lot of fun with like pretty much all my streams as long as a few guys are there to kind of like in interact with the chat and if i'm playing with someone like jpn or uh skies or someone then uh yeah i like almost always have a blast on the stream so there's usually some pretty funny stuff that happens or if not funny then just like really cool stuff that happens in game like if i get like a massive kill feed or something like that um so basically what i've started doing now is writing down the times everything you know funny or something really cool happens uh, so i can easily just go back cut at that point and uh, easily make highlights out of them. So expect that more stream highlights to come to the channel very soon. They're, they're probably going to be on a per stream basis. Uh, unless I particularly have, you know, like only only a few times for stream. I may bundle a few together. But for the most part, it'll be on a per stream basis. Um, and, you know, they'll just be kind of uh, like short, funny moments type videos. Highlighting my streams. And, of course, encouraging you guys that uh, miss them to maybe come along. And uh, for those of you do want to check me out on Twitch, who hasn't heard about me, I mentioned this a lot. And I think his name has Minecraft in. I, I forget. There's so many of you guys that I forget all your different names. Uh, but someone said to me last week that... Um, after watching the stream highlights, they commented, oh, I didn't know you have Twitch, I'll check you out. I was like, really? Like, I mention it so much, like, not in a mean way or anything, but, like, a, a kind of surprise way, because I say it a whole bunch, um, especially on Twitter and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you guys do want to catch me go live, be sure to go follow me on twitch.tv slash thegoronator, that is where I go live. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, or if you don't have, like, a Twitch account or anything, you can follow me on Twitter, and I always post the links when I go live, and I announce it, you know, like, half an hour beforehand, ten minutes beforehand, to make sure you guys know when 
when I'm going live, um, and uh, as well as, you know, a bunch of updates about what's going on and stuff like that. So if you do want to follow me on Twitter, it's at it's the Goronator as well. Getting them shameless plugs mid-video as my phone goes off. I don't know if you guys heard that. I usually have this thing on silent. I, I do apologize. My unprofessionalism. <laughs> there, to be fair, this is like the most kind of relaxed video out of all the different series I do. So, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I'm, I'm sure you guys are fine with it. So, uh, anyway. That's enough on stream stuff. Um, in other news, so video, vi more more video based stuff. Um, so the first one is stuff to do in series. Now you'll notice that a lot of you guys really like that series, so I'm, I'm assuming quite a lot of you guys have noticed that for the past two weeks now, I've missed stuff to do in episodes because obviously I plan to do one every single week. Uh, the problem with that is since going back to work on Saturdays and Sundays, obviously Saturday I'm there all day, so I pretty much. I have no time to make a video on Saturdays. Sundays, I'm a little bit more restricted, but not so much. I'm only at work for like half the day. The problem is, it's just... <laughs> I don't know if you guys realize that when you watch the stuff to do in videos, but there's a lot of time that goes into them. Like, I spend pretty much all day on, st on a stuff to do in video. Like a whole, I don't know, five, six, maybe eight hours on a stuff to do in video. There's a lot of hard work that goes in from obviously coming up with the idea originally. I usually have that done beforehand um, to obviously writing the script, then playing the game, which uh, at the moment is Just Cause 3, getting all the clips and B-roll for that, and then finally compiling everything together, getting the timing right, maybe adding sound effects, music, all that kind of stuff. It takes a very long time, even though they are, you know, quite short videos. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's why they could have been missing, because I haven't really had any time to make them, but I'm, I'm going to try really hard to bring them back. Obviously, I love making that series. You guys absolutely love it. That, that series gets so many views, um, which obviously, you know, I don't care about too much, like that doesn't influence whether I make them or not, but it is great to see that you guys really do like that series and a lot of new guys have actually come to the channel um, from that series, so that's obviously going to continue, so if you guys do like that series, that's great news for you guys, because uh, at least I'll try start it again this week if I can do, um, Tuesday, well yeah, tomorrow is my day off college, so I will try work on it then after I've done my YouTube advice video, um, but yeah, other than that, if, it, if there's not one this week, there'll definitely be one next week, so I've already got some ideas for it and everything, so uh, yeah, look forward to that if uh, you guys are a fan of the stuff to do in series, and I do plan to branch out it out to other games as well, not just Just Cause 3, although Just Cause 3 is like perfect for that series, because you could be like so fun and creative and crazy in that game, so yeah, eventually though, I will branch it out to other games, um, so yeah, look forward to that if you guys are a fan of that series. Um, also, just a quick note, yesterday uh, I recorded some Cards Against Humanity and also some Mike Myers on Black Ops 3 with my friends. I played Cards Against Humanity with my friends Josh and Josh and Skies and that was a shit ton of fun. We recorded two games of that and uh, we'll probably record more in the future so you can expect those videos very soon of us. Uh, you know, messing about on Cards Against Humanity and having some fun with that. And uh, Mike Myers, we, uh, I played with a Rise, which is really cool, as well as uh, Josh, Josh and Skies. Uh, met a Rise and spoke to a Rise for the first time. He's a, a regular on the channel and uh, he suggested the idea of playing some Mike Myers with me on Black Ops 3. And I'm a massive fan of video game custom games where uh, you just they're just messing about with friends and not really playing the game in the intentional way it was meant to be played, but, you know, creating these own, like, mini-games within a game, I'm a massive fan of that, uh, since Halo 3 back in the day, back in my childhood, so, um, yeah, I was perfectly down for that, met him, spoke to him, he's a pretty cool guy, and, of course, he hangs around the channel a lot, so it was cool to finally meet him, uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today, guys, so let's get on to video of the week, it would have to be, the, the stream highlights were pretty good, like, not gonna lie, mate, the Making It Rain stream highlights were pretty good, so if you haven't seen them, it's only, like, a three-minute video, I suggest you go check it out, but one that I had particularly a lot of fun recording and editing was uh, the Swedes and Brits Rainbow Six Siege gameplay with my friends, basically me, Josh, and uh, his Swedish friends called Blue and Driddy. Uh, we, we basically just teamed up in Skype and uh, were playing some Rainbow Six Siege together, and oh my god, Blue is fucking crazy, man. That was, that was some great fun. <laughs> As you can probably tell, like, right by the start of the video here. This is literally... I'm probably going to start it right at the start of the video, so you're going to hear, like, the first 10, 15 seconds. Go check it out. It, it was a lot of fun. For hell, we should go Rainbow Six. <laughs> what the fuck? You should hear it when he does his mighty roar. No, that was uh, my yawn. 
Dreddy. Why are you taking so long? I said Dreddy. Because I needed to change my DNS. That's why. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. And finally, guys, let's get on to comments of the week featuring a few of your guys' comments that particularly stood out to me. So the first one here, speaking of the man himself, Mr. Arise Gaming, he said, I don't think I say this enough times. Your videos always make my day. You enjoy what you do so much, and it's fucking inspiring. Thank you for making my sub feed awesome. So happy I could support an awesome content creator like you. Arise that, that, that was a very nice comment. Thank you so much for leaving that. That was very heartwarming and nice of you to say. And really, man, I couldn't do it without you and other fans like yourself that support me consistently, whether that be in my YouTube videos or in my live streams or in both. You, you guys absolutely kill it. And you in particular, Rise, you're here like all the time, man, supporting me and my content. And it's just it, it's just great, man. I, I, I love you. Thank you so much for that. Now, the next comment here is from GBids. I believe he's a new guy to the channel. So, firstly, man, welcome. And he says, great channel, man. You are so good at managing time. Well done. Thank you, man. I appreciate you saying that. And the final comment for this week is from Apollo Monto, who says, yo, nice vid, man. Really helpful. My channel is growing like the pace of a thrust of turtle sex. Could you give me some tips? And I, I picked that one there, particularly for the... Uh, the <laughs> the turtle sex joke on uh, on the speed at which his channel is growing. Now, to just give anyone else who's asking for tips with their YouTube channel on how to, like, grow it and stuff like that, it's very hard to give tips on YouTube. I, I, you guys probably heard me say this before if you've been a, uh, around the channel for a while, but... Basically, success on YouTube is very unpredictable. It could happen to some people. It may not happen to others. Like, even if you make great quality content, you, you may never get noticed. It's all about exposure on YouTube, to be honest. There's so, so much stuff going on with different videos and different content creators. It's very hard to get noticed. So even if you put a lot of time and effort in, you may not necessarily get spotted. Uh, so what I, I always say is very kind of general, but... At the same time, it's kind of true, and uh, ultimately, I think I think it's three things that you should just, you know, you should mainly follow, which is, firstly, have fun. Make sure you're having fun when making content. If you're not, then what's the point of making videos? Like, it, it takes a long time to make, uh, to, to make and edit videos, so if you're not having fun with it, don't do it. Secondly, stay consistent. If you can stay consistent with uploads and uh, stuff like that, then obviously that's going to help a, a whole deal uh, increasing your chances of growing your channel. And finally, guys, never, ever give up, okay? Don't give up on your dreams, uh, even when things aren't going the best. If you're not gaining many subscribers, if you're losing subscribers, if your videos that you spend hours and hours and hours on aren't getting many views, don't give up, guys, okay? Please just keep trying, and hopefully you will get there eventually. So, yeah, thank you, Apollo Monto, for that comment there. And, uh, yeah, guys, that was Ghost Weekly Recap for this week. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button, and, of course, subscribe for more content from myself. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, please do have a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys next time.